Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to talk about some of the differences between Photoshop and Illustrator. I use both of these programs extensively, professionally, and I teach classes on each of them. And these are just some of the high level differences, some of the main things, some of the reasons that you would use to explain to someone why you would use one versus the other. All right, so Photoshop. One of the reasons I use Photoshop and the main reason you use Photoshop is to edit images that you've taken with a camera or some kind of JPEG. So for instance, if you've taken an image with your iPhone or you're even creating a new image, but you're going to be bringing in pictures, pictures of people that you've taken, pictures of things that you've taken with a camera, always using Photoshop. When you're using Illustrator, you're going to use Illustrator to create new images or create a logo for a company. Um, whenever I'm creating an image and I'm not going to be bringing a picture in, I'm always going to be using Illustrator. So, for instance, if I was creating, if a company called me, like Nike called me, and they were like, hey, create a new swoosh for us, Illustrator, right away. A company called me and said, hey, we want you to create this image for us. Here are several pictures we've taken outside of our building. Right away, I know I'm using pictures, Illustrator. All right, so why is that the case? It's because this difference between raster and vector images. What that means is that a raster image is made up of pixels. So as you zoom in on the image, it becomes pixelated. A rule of a photo is that you can always make a photo smaller, but you can't make it bigger. So if I take a photograph, I cannot blow it up and make it bigger. It becomes pixelated. Illustrator's images are, are vector images. There's a mathematical equation behind them. What that means is if I create a logo for a company using Illustrator, I can blow it up to the size of a building and it will look exactly, it will print and look exactly the same, which is a huge advantage of Illustrator, but you cannot do that for regular images. Let me show you an example here. This is Adobe Photoshop. Watch me zoom in on this circle. That's one zoom, two, already. Look at the edges. Oh, now look what's happening. We're starting to see squares. Look what happens as I zoom into this. You cannot zoom in on a photo. It starts to become blurry like this. And this is a circle. This is not a picture of a person, which would even look worse, where you couldn't even see what was happening. That's Photoshop. Now let's look what happens in Illustrator. We open up Illustrator and we zoom in. Zoom in, zooming even more and more. Look at this. There are no pixels. The image looks, the circle looks exactly the same. I can blow this up. This is 17,000% bigger than the original. And you can see that there are no pixels. It is perfect. It will look exactly the same no matter how big I make it. That is a huge, huge difference between Illustrator and Photoshop. Raster versus vector images. All right, what are the next differences? And this is something that can be changed on each of these pieces of software, but I did want to bring it up, is the difference between RGB and CMYK. In Photoshop, the default setting is RGB. RGB are computer colors. That means like if I'm putting something on the web, I'm designing something for the web, like a header or images that I'm going to put to Facebook or whatever, they're always in RGB. CMYK, which is the default setting in Illustrator, is designed for printers because if you look in the inside of your printer, you're going to see your printer is CMYK, um, which is cyan, magneta, yellow, and K, or what's really black color. Um, so you can see that in Illustrator, when I'm creating like a logo or something, I'm probably going to be creating it in CMYK because it's probably something that's going to be printed. Now, in each of these pieces of software, I can change that setting. 